Hello everyone and welcome to the latest train simulator video. Uh, today we're in Marseille and you're probably wondering, oh my god, uh, hello guys, have you bought Train Sim World uh, for your PC? And the answer is no. We are in Train Simulator and you'll probably be wondering why have I bought a French route? One to run Eurostars and also for that beautiful thing over there called the Trans Grand Velocité, or basically, I think that's how you say it. I've probably just made a fool of myself, also known as a TGV. But today we're not driving that. Today I'm showing you how to drive something which is very French, but is also known as the BR Class 22. It's this loco up front. So we're right, running at 200 km an hour, so 125 mile an hour um, freight train. And this is the loco. It's one of the French, this is, this is BB22200 class equipped with LGV and bogies to run at 125 miles an hour. So we're going to do in the, uh, kilometers now because it's France. So today uh, so it's at 200 kilometers an hour running machine. It's incredibly complex because it's been uh, very well modeled in train sim. So basically, I'm going to show you how to set this local up. So welcome to the cab of this uh, SNCF loco. Uh, so, yeah, welcome to the cab of this SNCF Loco, and basically, I'm going to show you how to drive it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is, as in a British train, put in the key. In the key, the key on these trains is found there. So you click this switch, and it does all its self tests. So again, just to wait, I mean, I just turn that off and do it again. So just to remind you while we're doing this video, because this train used to run in the channel tunnels, not because now I'm going to do a, a, a series on French videos. This train ran on the channel tunnel, that's why it's got a, um, TVM. It's not on the right livery for that, but anyway, I've got that installed anyway. So, starting again, you click that switch there, and the whole cab does its self-test. So we click that switch now. Oops, now. Right. Once you have completed that self-test, everything should stop flashing everywhere, except for that. If you are on a, so in order to drive this local, you should have a keyboard with a number pad. Okay. So the next thing we want to do before continuing our long-winded process is on your number pad, you want to press the minus key once. That's going to turn on KVB, which is this safety system over here. So, we're now going to proceed to set the loco up. How does one set this loco up after move that switch? We press this switch upwards, which says disjunctur, which is basically the main circuit breaker. But you're probably wondering, but Adrian, or BR Locos, that's my name, um, why are you closing the breaker? Your pantographs aren't up. That is very simple. That's just because of the way the loco works. So, we're going to click that switch upwards. And then down here, all these switches are your lights. So, cabina is cabit. So your cab light, this is for your little sheet over here. Pupitre is your instrument lights, which I always have on. And then these two, so that that one does this headlight. That one does that headlight. So if you do them both, it does both your headlights. If you turn that on, it puts them on super bright. So for tunnels, projector, which is basically projection. So once you've turned on your lights, the next thing you want to do is check. If you're on a French railway with overhead catenary, but that is DC catenary, so direct current, you want to be in continu. If you're in alternate, alternating, um, so AC, so this is DC. If you're in AC, you press this here, you click it, and it will move to the mono switch. But that is for we change over to AC, which is the same as on the channel tunnel. So for the minute, we're going to be on continu. Which is done by pressing this switch. So now you're going this this is the pantograph selector. It has whoops, it has four positions. You can either have it in off, rear, which so it would be it's the same on both. So you'd have this is, uh, zero is off, N is rear, N S is both, S is forwards. So we're gonna have forwards. So we're just gonna drag it, drag it all the way forwards. And that's now done my front pantograph. If you want to change it to the rear one, just drag it to the rear one. There we are, and I'll have both. Drag it to the middle position. 
if you want to have them down, just drag it into the last position. And it will lower them both. So I'm having my front one on. Right, so the next thing we want to do after that is we want to turn, we want to hold this for two seconds, that switch there. for two seconds this one here and then everything's going to click into life more like five seconds and then the transfer more the transformers should kick in then you can release the switch that's your main circuit breaker now closed after that you want to turn on your compressor by clicking this switch and your mo traction motor fans by pressing that switch Right. Next thing you want to want to do is turn on your brakes by clicking this switch. After you've done that, you want to set up your KVB safety system. So VOR is for passengers, ME is for express freight, MA is for slow freight. So this would be like PZB mode O, M and U. So we're going to do M, so ME, Mercancy, so we're at 200 kilometers an hour freight train, so we're doing Mercancy. Then this is to set up your maximum speed, which for us today is 200 kilometers an hour. So you do it to zero. Then you press your usual brake, train sim brake release key, and it will come up with this thing. 370 meters. So we're going to put three. That is L is length. And then here it says D. On the manual for this locomotive, you've got a series of values. In the case for this train, it's 065. Then you're going to press val which is validate and sf to reset the system or to acknowledge the system which is that light right once you've done that you do not want to worry about kvb and uh, not kvb tvm tvm is turned on using one of these two and disarmed using that it will turn on automatically once you go into the zone if it does if you're already in a tvm zone you want to arm it manually by holding that in the up position so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to release your train brake by holding C. It's a PBL brake, so that should reach five. There you go. And you can release it. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your rear cab with Control Plus, or whatever your keybind is, and you're going to press this wheel. That should turn off your handbrake. And now we're ready to move. So, what the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put it into forwards by pressing Z. Then you're going to press E to put it into traction. And then pressing, dragging this lever forwards, release your loco brake. Then this lever over here is your horn. You can give us a two. And then pressing Q put more power and D to put less power, we can move off. Keep spacebar held down for the DVD system called VACMA. If you want to turn it off, do this. If you want to keep it on, keep that on and hold spacebar down. I'm going to keep it on. For the purpose of this video it will intermittently give you a bell which you'll just have to release space bar for two seconds and then press it down again right next thing we're going to do is press enter to release this switch over here give us a little bit less power as well and now we're going to go into controlled speed mode which is done by shift you can do it by pressing e and then shift oops. So I usually turn my throttle to zero, then I press E again, and then shift A to select your required speed, which will come up here, and shift E to go back the other way. So shift A is more speed, shift E is less speed. There you go. I'm just going to set myself to 30 kilometers an hour when, it's, when it wants to. It does have a notch, it's just a bit hard to reach. Well, that, that is that come up. Release your space bar and press it down again. And now, you can apply more power and the locomotive will hold itself to the speed limit you've set, which is in this case, 28 kilometers an hour. 
I'm going to try to set it to 30. No, it's being quite stubborn. So you do not need to worry about TGV or power changeovers while you're pulling out of Marseille in this space. Can give yourself a little bit more power if you're struggling but in this case our speed limit is set so we're fine so to release your brakes it's C and to apply them it's W right might just be able to drag the speed limit to the correct speed doesn't want to no doesn't seem to have a 30 notch. Should do though. It will make that sound if you do not keep the pedal pressed down. So always keep the pedal pressed down or it will make that sound and stop you. Right, so we've got our, a higher speed limit coming up. So we're going to be able to set our speed limit to higher speed and get on with our work. This video will cover up to the TVM change over. Right, so now we can accelerate to 60 kilometers an hour, so we're just going to set our speed limit to 60 kilometers an hour and full power. As you can see, KVB is in the background. If it was to make a beep, you have to slow down to the speed it says there and press that button there. You're going to have to let me turn down. The game sounds a little bit, guys, sorry about that. So, we're shortly coming up to the power changeover at X on Pearl Vance. So, we can now do 110 kilometers an hour. So I need to turn it down a little bit more for myself. Sorry, guys, it's a bit complicated because I have to keep some. I, keep, I need to keep space, but I'll press down, so I have to pause it. Right, so we're now coming up to the power changeover shortly. So what you're going to want to do is keep an eye out for some signs like that one. And again, I'm going to have to turn down my sound. Sorry, guys, it's just incredibly loud. Because it's a very loud loco. So we're going to keep up. Oops. Quickly press back. Mark. Uh, right. So you want to keep out an eye for those signs. So we can accelerate to 140 kilometers an hour. Keep an eye for these signs, and then you have one that's distinctly different. That will be the indicator for your power changeover to TV uh, to LZ so to, to um, AC catenary and to TVM transmission. Right. So this is probably the last signal now that we're under conventional KV KVB signalling. Right, so now what you want to do is we're coming up to the power changeover, which is there. So you want to throttle down completely with D. And you want to lower when you're in the neutral section. Just actually, we can still accelerate a little bit more. Should be coming through it soon.
Right, I'm also going to turn on my projectors, which are my high intensity headlights for the tunnel. Right, so get ready to make to do the power changeover. That's where the changeover occurs. So now to prepare, you'll get some steins. We have to shut down the throttle completely. Right, there it is. Now shut down your throttle completely. Lower your pantograph. We're now on AC, that's the sign. Click this button, the, the yellow tag, and raise your pantograph. And you're now on AC catenary. And now hold you for two seconds again. And now we're under TVM. Any moment now. There you go, under TVM. And now KVB has automatically turned off as per real life. And now we can, uh, so we are allowed to go up to 160 kilometers an hour, even though we're slowing down. So we've got to power up. There we go. TVM's turned on. And we're now no longer under KVB. Now, the next time we pass the next TVM signal, which is right there, we're probably going to get line speed, which is three uh, green squares saying VL. VL, the velocity of the linear. There you go. Now we can go to maximum loco speed, train speed. And now to stop the train, what we do is we turn off the power with D. And now, using W, we apply about a bit of brake force. Using C, we release it, and W, we apply it. Very gently, though. And we stop. So now we're going to give ourselves full service. I'm going to give ourselves cab lights. And shutting it down is really easy. You just turn off the compressor. The fans. Lower the panto. Put this into off by pressing enter and then A. Put it into zero. Now you can disarm TVM by holding this button up. Now you disarm your breaker, put your reverser, check your reverser is in neutral with S, there you go, and turn off your lights, go to your rear cab, turn on the handbrake, and then turn off the cab. And that is how to drive the SNCF BB22200. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.